guys, it's Liam here from Primal Nomad. I hope you're doing well. Uh, this morning I'm dropping off my 4x4 to a body workshop. And we're actually going to be doing quite a lot of paint work to it. Um, something I've been saving up for, for quite a while. I'm doing quite a lot of work for this vehicle because I'm you know, aiming to take it four wheel driving, doing a bit of overland touring. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. See you soon. Having had my Navara for just over two years now, I'd had plenty of time to envision my plan. I wanted a fully custom paint job in something that was quite durable and going to be able to take the grunt of my building work in the restoration world and all the off-road adventures I had planned in the future. Apart from the angel eye headlights that I'd installed and the armour plating Joe had previously done to the tailgate and to the back of the tub, this was kind of the first marking stage of me actually getting my vision coming to reality. So I was really, really excited, looking so forward to exactly what was about to happen. Their attention to detail when masking up and taping lines was incredible and they removed all the ancillary parts to ensure that the edges received a good even coat too. So guys, as you just saw, inside the truck's getting quite a lot of work done to it. Um, the team are doing a really good job, they've polished all of it and now they're just masking up to do the initial lining on the uh, bed. Yeah, really looking forward to it, me and Rob are actually going to be doing now some little bits of work to the canopy and to the tailgate and just in preparation. The team were happy to accommodate myself and Rob to use the space to prepare some last bits on the hardtop before we passed it over to be lined by them too. This not only saved cost but allowed me to be on site to film and help make little decisions that the team wanted to make on the truck. Plus it was nice to be around to see the process unfold and kind of a dream come true I guess. Rob and I worked hard with some sanders given to us by the car doctor to start wearing down some of the bubbled areas on the hardtop. Some of the paint had started to flake in areas, showing general signs of age, as this was one that only cost me £100 and needed a lot of work doing to it. But for a King Cab Navara, that was a bargain I could not pass up on. I'd also been working on a custom grill, cutting and replacing the plastic diamond grill out and replacing it with a finer mesh. While this happened back at the workshop at home, I could then give the chrome sectioning a good sand and pass it over to be primed and lined by the sprayers. I chose Raptor Liner by u Paul to be applied by the car doctor, a local company with a great reputation and the right mindset to meet my custom requirements. Seeing the different stages of the prep come together was pleasing and I could see through all of my research into the application and toying with doing this at home that the right preparation was being undertaken. The paintwork to be painted was scuffed well, wiped down and then any bare metal etch primed to ensure the best adhesion and being involved even at that early stage gave me an air of confidence for the rest of the process.
In the bed of the truck we'd opted for a high grip additive that doesn't affect the overall colour or tone but does boost the grip and improves the anti-slip properties, so we did some tests to make sure that the texture was all confirmed before applying. Seeing the Raptor being applied and then fully applied in the truck bed was so exciting. The texture is beyond perfect and all of the little tests we've done were more than worth it. It looked so amazing that I couldn't wait to see the rest. We had chosen to use a higher pressure to spray, giving a finer texture and a flatter look. This was the same for the mud flaps, wing mirrors and all the other parts. Not only had I chosen to have the most common Raptor application, the truck bed lined, I also wanted the lower quarter of the entire truck's panel work to be lined just to protect from stone chips and also to aesthetically pop it. I had also asked for the roof to the gutter edges to be done in the whole canopy and of course the modified tailgate completed back when Joe helped me prepare the rear tub for the canopy install. It was all really starting to come together in my mind. This is where the attention to detail shown at the car doctor really shone. The involvement with me from the start was 100%, even down to measuring the tape lines for the lower quarters. Not long after this was I invited to the spray booth to see the different parts of my truck hanging in the flashing off period between coats, almost teasing me to touch them, but not wanting to ruin so much hard work effort and patience to get to this stage. I just had to make sure I left it well alone. Not long after this, I'd left for the day and waited for a call back notifying me that the truck had been finished. So I actually just turned up to see my truck completed for the first time. Uh, really excited. The sun's right in my eyes, so I do apologise for me squinting. Uh, yeah, let's have a little look. Unfortunately, some of the footage did get lost to the truck after its paint job in full, but man, was I happy. Terry, the owner of the car doctor, had been in contact with you, Paul, who manufacture Raptor, just to ask for some technical data and some information. When they heard about the build, they were more than happy to come down and take a look, as they were as keen to see the result of the build as I was. And if you do want to see the truck fully finished, the next two episodes in this series will be sure to keep you happy, where I upgrade the suspension, wheels, fix the rear diff, the transmission switches, and then I go for an R&D trip to the Salisbury Plains. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. And remember, thanks and stay safe.